Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, where I share with you the most inspiring and enlightening books I've read. Today I'm going to review a book that will teach you how to lucid dream, which means being aware that you are dreaming and being able to control your dreams. The book is called Exploring the World of Lucid Dreaming by Stephen Laberge and Howard Rheingold. It is a comprehensive guide that covers both the science and the practice of lucid dreaming. It explains how lucid dreaming works, why it is beneficial, and how you can learn it. It also provides exercises and tips to help you improve your dream recall, increase your awareness, and overcome common obstacles. The authors are both experts in the field of lucid dreaming. Stephen Laberge is a psychologist and researcher who founded the Lucidity Institute, a research center that promotes lucid dreaming. Howard Reingalt is a writer and teacher who has written several books on topics such as virtual reality, social media, and digital literacy. In this book, they share with you some of the amazing things you can do in your lucid dreams, such as Use reality checks, mnemonic techniques, and external cues to trigger lucidity in your dreams. Stabilize your lucid dreams and prevent them from fading or turning into nightmares. Manipulate your dream environment and characters according to your wishes. Communicate with your inner self and access your creativity, intuition, and wisdom in your dreams. Use lucid dreaming for healing, problem solving, overcoming fears, and enhancing your skills. Exploring the world of lucid dreaming is a must read for anyone who wants to experience the wonders of lucid dreaming. But before I end this video, I want to give you a more detailed overview of what lucid dreaming is and how you can do it. So let's dive deeper into this fascinating topic. What is lucid dreaming? Lucid dreaming is the experience of being aware that you are dreaming while you are asleep. It allows you to control your dreams and create your own reality. Imagine being able to fly, visit exotic places, meet your favorite celebrities, or even have a conversation with your subconscious mind. Sounds awesome, right? Lucid dreaming is not a new phenomenon. It has been known for thousands of years by various cultures and traditions. For example, Tibetan Buddhists practice dream yoga as a way of attaining enlightenment through lucid dreaming. Ancient Egyptians believed that lucid dreams were messages from the gods, and Native Americans used lucid dreams for healing and spiritual guidance. However, it was not until 1981 that lucid dreaming was scientifically proven by Dr. Stephen Laberge at Stanford University. He conducted experiments with volunteers who agreed to signal their lucidity by moving their eyes in a prearranged pattern while they were asleep. He recorded their eye movements using an electrooculograph and confirmed that they were indeed aware of their dreams. Since then, many studies have been done on lucid dreaming using various methods such as electroencephalograms, functional magnetic resonance imaging, and near-infrared spectroscopy. These studies have shown that lucid dreaming is a real phenomenon that involves a hybrid state of consciousness between wakefulness and sleep. How to lucid dream? Lucid dreaming is not something that happens naturally for everyone. Some people may have spontaneous lucid dreams once in a while without trying. Others may never have a lucid dream in their life unless they practice some techniques to induce it. There are many techniques that can help you induce lucidity in your dreams. Some of them are Reality checks. These are simple tests that you can do during the day to check if you are awake or dreaming. Reality checks. These are simple tests that you can do during the day to check if you are awake or dreaming. For example, you can look at your hands and see if they look normal or distorted. Or you can try to push your finger through your palm and see if it goes through or not. If you do these tests regularly during the day, you may eventually do them in your dreams as well and realize that you are dreaming. 
Mnemonic techniques, these are memory aids that help you remember your intention to become lucid in your dreams. For example, you can repeat a phrase like I will be aware in my dreams or I will remember my dreams before you go to sleep. Or you can visualize yourself becoming lucid in your dreams and doing what you want to do. These techniques help you program your subconscious mind to trigger lucidity in your dreams. External cues, these are devices or stimuli that can help you become lucid in your dreams by providing a signal that you can recognize. For example, you can use a special alarm clock that plays a sound or flashes a light at certain intervals during the night. Or you can wear a device that detects your eye movements and sends a signal to your brain when you are in REM sleep, the stage of sleep where most dreams occur. These cues can help you notice that you are dreaming and become lucid. These are some of the most common and effective techniques for inducing lucid dreams. However, they are not guaranteed to work for everyone or every time. You may need to experiment with different techniques and find what works best for you. You may also need to practice them consistently and patiently until you succeed. Why do you say dreaming? your emotions, release stress, or forgive yourself or others. You can also communicate with your subconscious mind and access your inner wisdom. For example, if you have lost a loved one, you can meet them in your lucid dreams and say goodbye. Having fun and exploring, lucid dreaming can also help you have fun and explore your imagination in your dreams. You can use your lucid dreams to fulfill your fantasies, experience adventure, or discover new things. You can also create your own dream world and characters according to your wishes. For example, if you want to travel the world, you can visit any place you want in your lucid dreams. These are some of the benefits of lucid dreaming that you may enjoy. However, lucid dreaming also has some potential downsides that you should be aware of. Some of them are Sleep quality, lucid dreaming may affect your sleep quality if you do it too often or too intensely. Lucid dreaming requires a high level of mental activity and awareness that may interfere with the restorative function of sleep. You may also experience sleep disruption if you use external devices or techniques to induce lucid Mental health, lucid dreaming may also affect your mental health if you misuse it or become addicted to it. Lucid dreaming may cause confusion, dissociation, or detachment from reality if you lose touch with the boundary between dreams and waking life. You may also develop unhealthy habits or behaviors if you use lucid dreaming to escape from reality or avoid dealing with your problems. Ethical issues, 
Lucid dreaming may also raise some ethical issues if you use it to harm others or yourself in your dreams. Lucid dreaming may affect your moral values, empathy, or conscience if you act in ways that are contrary to your waking ethics. You may also experience guilt, shame, or regret if you do things in your lucid dreams that you would not do in real life. These are some of the risks of lucid dreaming that you should be careful of. Lucid dreaming is a powerful tool that can be used for good or evil depending on how you use it. Therefore, it is important to practice lucid dreaming responsibly and respectfully. That's all for today's video. I hope you learned something new and useful about lucid dreaming. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you want to learn more about lucid dreaming, I recommend reading Exploring the World of Lucid Dreaming by Stephen Laberge.